Yo, it is Stocks and Bars, the stock market hip hop podcast, the only place where you find finance and hip hop mixed together, and you know what it is right now. It's the Cliff Notes version. Last episode, we had the Marathon Money team on, and we had the mashup. We talked about a lot of things. We talked about some stocks that we like, and then we also talked about financial traumas, black culture investing, the whole nine, man. So make sure that you check out that prior episode in order to see the stocks that we talked about and join the convo if there's anything that you like about it make sure you tag the show as we discuss it on twitter facebook instagram anywhere social media make sure you tag the show with the cliff notes episode you know what we do we talk about the last episode and we also dig a little bit deeper we dig deeper into the topic all right in the last episode I brought up a style of mine, which is trying to find stocks that are near 52 week lows. Maybe that's not your cup of tea. Maybe that's a little too risky for you. But you know what? That's why we're here, all right? There are a lot of different investment styles and it's going to be about what fits you, all right? Ultimately, you are the key ingredient to this gumbo. You have to understand that when you find a style, it fits you, okay? It is about you, how it fits you personally. Your style, your life, everything about you is what is going to be reflected in a style you select. And we're gonna talk about a few of those, okay? So if you're still looking for your style, this is the one for you. And I got good news for you. All of them work. (laughs) Every style out there, It works. It works for the reason that you are the key ingredient. It works because it works for your personality. If it fits into your lifestyle, it will work. So you may run through a few of these before you figure out which ones don't work. And then when you do settle on the one that does work, then it will just work naturally into who you already are. So let's run through a few of these, all right? First off, mine. (laughs) I like finding these lows, okay? Finding a couple steals at the bottom because this is what the stock market ultimately is well known for. It's finding stocks that are so low that when they start to go up, you make money. So that's value investing, all right? So when we talked about finding stocks at 52-week lows, that is considered value investing. You're trying to find the value in a stock it's been beat down and you pick it up and then hopefully you're the key ingredient to that going up <laughs> but it is value investing all right so finding stocks that are at lows you can consider that value investing that fits into my lifestyle because i'm a bargain hunter I'm, i like to find things at the best deals possible so that works for me for that reason another one dividend investing This is simply picking up stocks that offer a dividend. You can get stocks that pay you over time for holding it, and you can structure it out in a way, once you get really good at it, that you end up holding a portfolio that pays you every single month. That's right, you can end up finding stocks that pay you in January, February, March, April. You'll have a portfolio eventually, after you get really good at it, Once you figure out the payout times, then you can actually make a portfolio that pays you all year long. So that's the dope thing. That's dividend investing. All right. Number three, growth companies. This is where the risk comes in. You put your money into a company that is going to grow. Okay. Here's an example of a growth company. Tesla. All right. That has done pretty well. But in that space, there are a lot of growth companies and this is where the risk comes into play because you don't know if it's gonna grow. (laughs) You are banking on that company actually attaining growth. Here's another one, Netflix. Netflix was a growth company. When it first started out, it was a dice roll basically to see if it was going to grow was in a trajectory to grow because people were switching the technology that they had and it worked 
but I can tell you that out of many, there's only one. All right. So growth investing can be a risk, but it can be extremely profitable when you do find them. So that's another one. Growth investing. Number four, established companies. All right. This is also one of my favorites, too. And this is because companies that have been around will likely stay around. OK. Companies that have been around will likely stay around. So we got Home Depots, Walmarts, Exxon's. You can name a whole slew of stocks right now that you can drive in your car and you will see a storefront. Or you can go online, you will see an advertisement. They do ads on TV now? I watch Netflix though. My ads don't come. <laughs> But you can still see advertisements anywhere, okay? And then magazine, I'm saying magazine, yo, I'm old. <laughs> That's gonna be an ad on the phone. But anyway, you can see in, I'm see, I almost, almost said newspaper. Like, yo, I need to grow up. But anyway, you'll see ads somewhere in digital format. <laughs> that is a company that has been around established for a very long time. And you can likely have trust that is probably going to be here for a while. So if you invest your money in it, you have confidence that you'll get a return of some sort if you continue to do the buy and hold strategy. Another one, not one of my fan favorites, but that doesn't matter because it still makes a lot of people money. And that's penny stocks. That may be your cup of tea. If you like value investing, penny stocks is going to be something that you may dabble in because it's a value, right? It's less than a dollar. The attractiveness of it is that pretty much anybody can afford to get it because it's going to be less than a penny. But penny stocks can be stocks that are under $10 as well. Penny stocks can be something for you if you have the patience. I will say that I personally tried it and it didn't work for me, but that doesn't mean it can't work for you. So if you are still looking for a style to fit you and you want to try that, who am I to say you can't try it? All right. I don't like it, but hey, it can work out great for you. And I wish everybody the best who tries it because a lot of people have tried it and it hasn't worked. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't work. OK, trust me, it does work. You just need to find out how it fits you. All right. I'm going to share one more to you. All right. Buying new stocks, buying new stocks. This one is also a risk because this is kind of similar to growth companies. A new stock is something that is just hitting the scene. OK, and if you're not familiar with the lingo, let's try this IPO. There's a lot of stocks that hit the market brand new. I tried one of them recently and that was last year and that was in the insurance space. OK, I tried root. It didn't work out too well for me. I thought it was going to be a good move because the insurance space is safe, right? I mean, everybody has to get insurance. And I thought root would be a growth company. OK, I really thought that it would grow over time because people would find this to be the way to get insurance. So the traditional way they had a way of doing it on an app. I was like, say no more. Everyone's already on the app. So to get the phones in front of them, you want to get insurance. All you got to do is download the app and let it ride and you get insurance. Say no more. Stock didn't perform that well, <laughs> but that's my experience. It doesn't mean that it will be yours. So buying new companies is another way. All right. So those are the five that I got for you right there. Right. That's value investing, dividend investing. OK, that's growth companies, that's established stocks, that's penny stocks. I said five. I can't count six. That's six. OK, I said five because mine is my personal one. But let's run it down one more time. Value investing, dividend investing. Growth company, <clears throat> established stocks, penny stocks, and then buying brand new stocks. Out of that mix, I guarantee you one of them will probably fit you at some point in time. You may even switch, you may have a combo of them, but all is well because they work. 
You can focus on one of them and it will definitely end up working out for you. And once you figure out the one that works for you, tag the show, right? Hit up Stocks and Bars on any social media platform. You know where to find me. That's on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. All. I don't know about you, but I'm, yo, I'm social media out, man. I'm personally, I would like just really to have one social media. This is exhausting. You feel me? This is like, I'm on social media and I gotta be everywhere, all these, right? Just to interact, I, I wish there was just one. Yo, whoever can make the one that just combines it all. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of stocks where you can post out to them all. And Regardless, I'm tired of social media. Word up, I'm really tired of it. But anyway, hit me up. <laughs> Mainly on YouTube. Find me on YouTube. I put my videos on there every single week where I break down the stock market and make it very, very simple. Stock market right now has been, man, it's been, been pretty flat. You know since we last talked about it so check those videos out i do a recap every single week in order to help you understand how to read charts feel confident in yourself give you the skills but we do it in real time and we watch how patterns break down we figure out ways how to make money off of it all of that good stuff so make sure you follow me on youtube all right and that's wincrease team so I appreciate you spending your time with me. Like I said, this is the Cliff Notes version. Check us out next time and we'll get with you later. Remember, health is wealth. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. Peace. Let's get to these bars. Ah. Yo. There's so many styles you can pick from. So the only many. confusion is which one is your personality to fit. So you huh? you figure that out, that part of your journey is done. Uh. This message to all. Never give up, you can do this to become the master. You must be the student and come to invest in the number one rule is that money's a tool and you must only use it. You lust and abuse it, we we'll trust you will lose it. Protect your neck like the woo. Advice that's coming from music, I put finance to the hi-hats. With a wise rap, realize that, that your mind's capitalized back. This is time hack when the plot fact, make a dime's ass and you fast. Stacks and bars, stacks and bars, stacks and bars, stacks.